Welcome to Omicron. Ay, 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 ay. This place doesn't look too well. those suits that we actually wear, right? Um, okay, seriously, what happened here? <clears throat> I mean, first of all, the screen is totally blurry again. And these people have literally lost their heads. What the heck? Okay, maybe the black box is in the head. So that's why we couldn't hear anything here. Ah, uh, what makes sense? It would make sense, right? Containment. This place is absolutely... ...on a control of the plow. Oh, it is so blurry. It's insane. Like... Uh... Okay. What was that? <laughs> um... Like, it's actually super, uh, sharp. Up in front. But... Absolutely blurry over there. Global lockdown active. All right, a dive room console. Nice. I guess that is where we have to go. Mm -hmm. That dripping sound, though. Hmm. I'm not so happy with the uh, current situation here on uh, Omicron. <laughs> uh. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> of course. Alright, robot repair bay, dispatch, containment, dive room. Alright, so we need to go here. Right. And I probably don't need to tell you, but I don't want to lose my head. Wow. Like I'm being on a trip. Looks oh it's so blurry. Oh my god. It's so wuzzy. Uh, okay, that looks suspicious. What else do we have here, though? That's what I mean, it's totally... Whoa! Okay, I mean, there's someone down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Poor soul and victim <clears throat> of the WoW. So maybe, maybe, maybe the closer we get to the WoW, the more. What? The more it gets weird. Okay. <clears throat> um. We saw a shape 
or, well, shade of Ross? And he told us to stop it? What? What is he even referring to? I don't know. Whatever it is, though. I don't like this at all. Die through medical bay. Alright. Or oh, maybe we need to stop the wow. That could be it. Okay. I'm 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 literally hearing voices whispering. Nice. Medical bay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Right. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> All the places. Why do we need to be here? And we're still like not walking smoothly due to that fall probably in the elevator shaft maybe that's why our vision is blurry that would make sense right whoa Okay. All right. Hmm. Another crew photo. Matt's power suit proper usage for the safety of you and your colleagues. Put on the neoprene on the suit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damages. Uh. I think we read that already. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Arc team checklist. Power suits tested and ready. Omicron skins are in the arc. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Train operator ready. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. Okay. I, truth be told, I don't like those voices. Getting nauseous here. It's like so cool. blurry. Huh. Is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Omnitool falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been mm -hmm. bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's mm -hmm. got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please, you don't have to switch this instant, just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Great. Blah. I mean, you, you can probably see this. It's like... Oh. 
Oh, I feel like I'm totally drunk. It's, everything's super blurry. Oh. Alright. Seems like there's... Simon, look for a suit in the lockers. Yeah. Hello. That's what I'm doing. Uh, nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least uh -huh. I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. That is so... That is so... No. That is so no. I mean... It's her, it's her dead body, right? It's her corpse. With the hat missing? Okay. <laughs> but, and now we take, now we take control over that dead body? I mean... Is it, is it what weird? What are you doing? We need to get the suit activated. Is it weird for me to, like, think about that as being... Somewhat weird, disgusting. I don't know. And that's a power suit. HPS information. A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees to minus 75 while keeping a steady 40 on the inside. This suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ADM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize the risk of shock hyperventilation, even dehydration. HPS usage. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings and locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to a specific personal, but as default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, uh, brain activity, body temperature and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Climber station, that's what we need to go afterwards. Mm. And we're currently here. Right. Okay. Don't waste time, Simon. Activate the power suit already. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel, powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I feel so yes, lucky. Right. <laughs> what about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Mm -hmm. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Yeah, sure. All right. What was that? Oh, the door opened again. Okay. Okay, so... 
Yeah. Let's go shopping, I guess. It's the airlock. Yeah, we can't go here though yet. Swap Omni tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for later on. Come on, we need to get a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. Okay. So, Codex chip, structure gel, power core, right? Oh my. Oh my. I'm not feeling too well about this. To be honest. Well, probably not in there, right? I have no clue where to go and look for these things. I have absolutely zero clue. Well, there was this buddy here, right? Okay. We can't do anything about it. <laughs> so... There were two more bodies here. Probably looting them first would be oh, would be a good idea, right? Promising idea. Uh holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, okay, that... Okay, I get literal goosebumps. Why is that over here and not there? Oh my god, please don't jump me. Okay, it's still static only, but why did it move? Why did it move? not cool. <laughs> this is not cool. Uh... Oh. Alright, I remember there was something here on this table. nothing of interest though Carthage yeah well hmm I'm 
mean, to get some structure gel, we could... Couldn't we just use a bottle? Like... I don't know. Try to get some here? <laughs> it's probably not... Not the intended way how to do this. Why is ever the that thing moved? I'm gonna touch this one again. Yeah. Okay. Nothing on there. Oh wait. So, I'd actually guess it's not up, uh, not down here. But then... Where else do we get the stuff? What? What? Oh, what? What? Why? Don't do that! Ah... Uh, it's not necessary. Come on. Okay, there needs to be something in here, right? I guess that'll take some time. To find the stuff. I mean, I have zero clue where to look. Let's talk to her again. Look for a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't, didn't check those. There are cabins here. Maybe there's something in them. Hmm. Doesn't really look like it. Nope. Okay. That's the machine that we need to transfer, to probably transfer us into the new suit. Oh. Makes sense. Can't use this airlock here yet, right? That's what we made the suit for. Yeah. Um. Okay. Seriously. Look for a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. I would actually l love to have. Um... A direction, at least. I 
mean, it's got to be here somewhere, apparently, but... I haven't found anything yet. Nothing we can do here either. Except taking that out, yeah. Hmm. Weird. Just books. Hmm. In here, there's nothing we can we can use. Feels like I, I have searched the places. Yeah, so I'm back in this room. Mm-hmm. Thank you. This time I was prepared for it. Oh. Might this help? Oh wait, now we can override it because the power is back on. Ha ha ha. I see. Error removing lockdown. Take the gel. exactly do I have to do here? We have to stop it. Okay. Do I have to... I don't know. Combine them somehow. Oh, this wouldn't work, right? Because this this one is missing. God, <laughs> stop that, please. All right, what if we actually start here? Scared me. All right. 
right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Rita Ruffy. Jacob Halp Halperin, an unusually sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. I brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During postmodern study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could re relocate it. What? Shelly dead on arrival. Claudia Eames. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Alvari can't shut up about. Johan Ross, dead on arrival, Cody Ames. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, but frankly I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the Ark team is still is alive, which I highly doubt, then we'll have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Yeah, that's where I want to be. <laughs> Yay! That's some wow. Uh, okay. A theta structure gel test for Set up split circuit board micro battery less than ideal circuit mimicked. Check previous results system shock and death. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So they were studying the structure gel. What? Look at this. what it became now. It seems like it's alive or talking or whatever. And why is this body clearly out ahead in the emergency shower. Well, not sure I want to find out the answer to that. <laughs> okay. What? They attached wow and a camera to a red? Activity. At least Cameron. Structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connect 
Activity. But even functionality. Gel can make a sim simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more com complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Applied gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. What the? Stop the wow. Yeah, there we go. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets uh, magnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal you suffer. Alright, that's not creepy at all. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-link gel with aligned gra graphene in a poly unsaturated matrix was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but his controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were man manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comb had killed the surface. It can't, sure, it can't for sure say if it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. That's actually insane. I mean, so the WoW is an AI that took complete control. Never seen something of that speed. Huh. That took complete control over everything. Uncalibrated gel. Great, so we need a new chip. Mm hmm. God. Uh, where do we get one? Cell one. That looks like a chip. I think we need that one, don't we? So not secure, please close try. Oh, uh, try. Please close tray. I'll do it again. Oh. Mm hmm. So we have to dispense the gel. Probably. On the board, right? What the heck? Oh 
Oh no. That's a dead mouse. I'm not even sure we have to do this at the same time. Okay, so the WoW repairs, um, necessary parts, and then, kind of, uh, yeah, takes over. Alright, that's what I figured. I have to put that uh, bad ship in there. Use the gel on it. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. Ship? No. Not supposed to do that. Alright, alright, so we got one. We got the uh, structure gel. That means. Two things left. Two things left. <laughs> 